Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in this uh, APC back UPS uh, model ES725. Now this whole unit that I've got right here is bad, so I'm it's destined for the recycle bin, but I wanted to at least show you how to change the battery if you've got one like it that still works. So sometimes you can hot swap batteries, meaning change them while the unit is still on and functioning. The, the manual for this particular model doesn't say anything about that. so. I wouldn't <laughs> recommend trying it. So go ahead and unplug everything after you turn it off and then you can flip it over like this to show the underside. And there are these two tabs here that you can push on to release the battery cover. You pull that off, set it aside. Um, here's the battery itself right here. This is a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery and there are the positive and, termi uh, positive and negative terminals right there. So. Since this battery is bad, it's starting to swell, which is making it extraordinarily difficult to remove, right? Usually, it won't be that bad. So once you get it part way out, you can disconnect the connectors, and there you go. There is the battery. Now this is a genuine APC battery, you can tell from the sticker. Unfortunately, this one does not have the battery model number on it. So I had to go to the APC website and find a replacement uh, battery for the particular model number of this unit, which if you look on there, you can probably go off of this uh, BE725BB model number, whatever's on the sticker on the back of your unit, or just the main ES725 number will lead you to the battery that you need. That being said, I already did that. And I found out this is an RBC-17. You can buy a replacement from APC directly for about 45 bucks, or Amazon has them for, well, I found one for $33 with free shipping if you're an Amazon Prime member. So anyway, um, a new battery should come with uh, reusable packaging and prepaid postage to a uh, nearby recycling facility, so that's pretty cool. I would not just throw these things out But you can tell that this guy here is bad because you can see how much it's swelling When you when you look at it, okay? I also put a voltmeter across the terminals and I get absolutely zero <laughs> So anyway, since this unit was bad, I did not buy a new replacement, but Let's just pretend this is the replacement battery and I will show you how to install it. Basically, you just use the exact steps I showed you, but in reverse, okay? So get the battery kind of part, part of the way in so that the terminal connectors will reach the terminals and then plug them in as you go. Actually, that wasn't on there. All right, like that. And then push it the rest of the way in, which you won't have to force it on a new battery, but there you go, that's installed. And then reinstall your battery tray. Okay, if you flip the unit back over to the right side, you should be able to power on the unit and verify that it that it works. And then you can go ahead and plug it in and let it fully charge. It will might, might actually take a few hours to fully charge, um, even with a brand new battery in the mail. I don't think they're at 100% when you get them. So anyway, that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching.